brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. First off, I want to give all praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the word inwardly calls Jesus Christ in the Hebrew. Who are we? We're the Hebrew Israelites, the sons of Jacob, that come prophesied the downfall of America, thus said the Lord. All right, so let me get uh, Romans chapter uh, 13. It's high time. Yeah, 11, come. Last Go ahead. Con, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, In that, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So a lot of people don't understand that now is the time to wake up out of sleep, man. Right? So let me get uh let me get that out of Romans 11. I think it's like verse um, Romans 11, verse uh 15, I think it is. Uh slumber. Eight, go ahead. Oh, you start seven. Bring it out. Con, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See, a lot of people blinded. Why? Because they're in a spiritual sleep. The Most High put y'all in a, a spirit of slumber. But the Bible tells us it's high time to wake up out of sleep. You understand what's going on? All right. Let me get that real quick. Acts 5. Con. Let me get uh, Proverbs 13, 13. Go ahead. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. God, verse 8. It says, according as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber. And slumber meaning what? Uh, sleep. Right? Go ahead. God, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. So when you sleep, you're not, you're not woke. You can't see nor can you hear. Um... I'm not sure. I forgot what I asked for. But let me get that real quick. This is Acts 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, uh -huh. We ought to obey God rather than men. Right. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. So, hey, the Israelites, they slew and hanged them on a tree, right? So now is our, our salvation near to what we believe, which is Yahweh, which means salvation. Okay, Yahweh is nearer than what the people believe, who y'all call Jesus Christ. He coming back on the scene. Let me get Matthew 24. And let me get, uh, let me get uh, endured to the end in Matthew. Hey, sis, you believe in the Bible? No? What you believe in? I don't know. I'm spiritual. The Bible is spiritual. I don't, I don't either. Can you show me in the Bible? Go ahead, uh. Uh, let me start at verse 3. God, this is Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. So, like, you start at verse 1, so we can just get it in context so they'll know what's going on. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. Uh -huh. And Jesus said unto them, Who did? Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Uh -huh. So he told them that the temple was going to be torn down. That's what uh, Yahweh Shai, who y'all call Jesus Christ, is telling the disciples right now, right? Go ahead. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, uh -huh. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? So he said, hey, when is this going to happen, right? Go ahead. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? He said, what shall be the sign of thy coming? Because Yahweh Shai is coming again. Right? Go ahead. And of the end of the world. And the what? And of the end of the world. So not only the temple, 
being destroyed. But Yahweh Shai coming back on the scene, not only that, but the end of the world. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. He said what? Take heed that no man deceive you. So Yahweh Shai said, Take heed that no man deceive you. Go ahead. For many shall come in my name. So you got all these people talking about how they Jesus are, are reincarnated back on the earth, man. Right? Go ahead. Saying, I am Christ. They said what? Saying, I, I am Christ. Christ. And you got brothers saying that they is Christ. And them, really, they ain't even my brothers, man. All right? If you if you, if you you make yourself an antichrist and, and you call on that name and say you are that person, my savior, you're not my brother. Go ahead. And shall deceive many. Because you deceive many. You're the damn devil that the Bible speak of. Go ahead. Right. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Uh -huh. <laughs> See that ye not be troubled. Right. For all these things must come to pass. So all, all these things must happen, and we seeing this coming to this day. That's why it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Because guess what? You're going to get the story with the people, man. That's not going to be good. Right? right. Everybody just having a, a beautiful day. Right? It's not beautiful out here, man. Destruction is coming. All right. All right, go ahead. But the end is not yet. But the what? But the, the end, end is, is not, not yet. yet. See, the end ain't yet, though. Y'all ain't seen it. Right? So y'all don't believe. You don't have the faith. You don't read the Bible like this sister just said. So she don't really know what's going on. Right? She cool being at the bottom. She cool, man, when these other nations is coming. She cool wearing a damn mask on her face. Right. She, she cool going to get the vaccine. She ain't tripping. Right? As long as she can walk to the store, she good. But it's going to be a time when all that is shut down. Right? You ain't coming out no house. And that's coming real soon. Uh. Right? Right now, I just saw... Um, I ain't been watching the uh, news lately, but they just said that um, Donald Trump is, he's about to send the National Guard through every city in America. Look it up. They already told y'all that this second wave of coronavirus was going to be far, far worse than the first one. All right. And the first one even ain't even hit hard yet. And they had already told y'all because all this is planned. Right? You got you got something what you call predictive programming. That's what they doing on y'all right now. When they always told y'all that we was like lab rats and they keep doing test after test on us. Right? And y'all falling for it. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. See, a nation gonna rise against another nation, man. Right? <sighs> and kingdom against kingdom. Uh -huh, and kingdom against a kingdom. You got all these other nations and all these other kingdoms coming against America. Right? Coming against Iran. Coming against Israel. Coming against Pakistan. Coming against Korea. Coming against uh, Venezuela. Coming against all these other nations, man. Go ahead. And there shall be famine. And there's going to be famine. Y'all see what happened um, when, when, when um, they went down there to Venezuela, and they walked all the way from Venezuela as in South America, and they walked all the way to North America? Did Y'all remember that? Uh, they literally walked yep. a continent. Yep. That's crazy. Digging out literally, man. They was forced to eat out the trash because that's how bad it was down there. Right. It's still bad. They just they, they just ain't showing it. Right? Well, and y'all thinking that's not going to triple, trickle and come up here? It's coming. They just did another um, uh, 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 article where all the small businesses are being shut down, man. They talk about how, how devastating and heartbreaking it is. Right? Because your small business has been shut down. Right? For damn near seven, eight months. Right? Not making any money. Right? All right uh, yeah. More? Yeah, I want to okay. Yeah. So, so now you, you got all these uh these small businesses, man. I remember when those businesses right here was open. Right? I remember these businesses right here. I remember the Chinese people used to stand out in front of that store right there and listen to us. Look at it. Uh, Board it up. I remember that. Right now. Right. Board it up. They had all that all was full of businesses. But guess what? Hey, they about to shut all this down. The most high not playing with America. The most high not playing with you wicked nations. And most of all, the most high not playing with you Israelites, man. All right, go ahead, huh? And pestilences and earthquakes. Y'all know what pestilence is? A pestilence is uh, uh, diseases, man. Infections, right? And that's what you see going on. Because what they when they tell you about the uh, uh, coronavirus, the coronavirus is a strain of the SARS virus that came out in early 2000s, like 2001 and 2002. Then right after the SARS, when they came out, they had anthrax. Then right after anthrax, they had the swine flu, H1N1. Right? All these pestilence coming upon y'all, but y'all not taking 
taking um, um, heed to that. Y'all cool walking to the stove. Y'all cool. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care what's going on until it comes to your house, right. until it comes to your family. Right. And they tell you what to do. And they put that gun to your head. And they tell your mama what to do. Right. And they slam your grandma. Then what? Don't call on your house who y'all call Jesus then. Don't call on them then. When the police come slap you and throw you on the ground, give you 12 years, 13 years, don't call on Jesus then. When you was out here worrying about the bag all day, worrying about going to the drug and getting that loud pack. Right? Don't call on Jesus then. Right? If I was your father and you never uh, came to me, I'd, I'd ignore you too. Right? Read on. All these are the beginning of sorrow. And the word sorrows, man. Y'all gonna be out here moaning and groaning and crying and weeping and... Right? Gnashing of teeth. You understand? That's what's gonna happen to y'all very soon. And we pray y'all get right, man. Son. We pray y'all get right. Right? Let me get Acts 10. Go ahead. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. And shall kill you. They gonna what? And shall kill you. They gonna do what to these people? And, and shall, shall kill, kill you. But you cool walk into the stove when the Bible said that these gonna they gonna cause you up to be afflicted and they gonna kill you. You cool, man. Look up, man. Hey, look up the guillotines. What they say they had fifteen thousand guillotines in two thousand two. Well, thirty thousand now? Well, okay, we look up the facts, man. Look it up. What about the caskets? Uh, Where the caskets at? Yeah. Huh? Where they at? Y'all just cool. Y'all forgot. What about all the videos y'all saw the army tanks, the army uh, troops, all on top of the, uh, uh, the trains all across America? Not only in America, you had Canada too, man. Y'all just forgot. Y'all don't care what's going on. Right? Go ahead, man. And you shall be hated of all nations. And they gonna what? Shall be hated of all, of all nations. nations. You gonna be hated of all nations because Psalms 83 said that they conspired against y'all. Right? These other nations hate your guts. Right. Because what? You a chosen people. Right? You got the salt, man. You got that flavor. You got everything they want. You got a God that love you. You got a you got a savior. Hey, brother. You believe in the Bible? Did you read it? Did you know they about to come and kill us? No, 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 no. The Bible says they about to come and kill us, brother. All nations, not just, that's not in America. You ever heard of World War III? What's gonna happen during World War III? It's gonna be a world war. That's what it's gonna be. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And you, you ain't no just, just the people in your community. Ain't just the uh, white man that's got a badge. No, man, the Asians gonna kill you. The Africans gonna kill you. The Arabs gonna kill you. They all coming for your head, boy. That's the truth of the Bible. Let me get Psalms 83 real quick. Read what you got, up. Uh, uh, Matthew, right? Con. Matthew. Con, this is Matthew chapter 24 and 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So they thinking by enduring to the end, they just gotta be out here. Right? Enduring to the end. Yeah, Ishmael, you're the damn devil that the Bible speak of. That's right. You damn coward. That's right. Right? You a damn coward, man. Right? Let me get that out of Psalms 83. This is Psalms 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Right? He said, be not O silent, O God. Right? Go ahead. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. See, that's one of our enemies right there, man. He cool taking all the money from the community, but he, he, he mad at the Israelites. Right. Because the Bible coming out. Right? Go ahead. And they that hate thee. And what? And, and they, they that hate thee. And what? And they, they that, that hate, hate thee. Uh -huh. Have lifted up the head. They have lifted up the head, right? They, they, got, they on guard, brother. Right, go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. They consulted against thy hidden ones, man. 
You understand? They have, they have uh, uh, analyzed you, brothers and sisters. They analyze y'all. Yep. They take a heed of every move that you make. All right. That's why his ass is hanging out the damn door with a goddamn phone calling Esau like we give a damn about the white man. Right. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What did Ishmael say? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What did uh, Elam say? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What the damn devil of the Bible say? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh -huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they want y'all to forget who y'all are, man. They don't want, want y'all to know how precious y'all are in the sight of God. Right? They don't want y'all to know. Right? That's why they use the other nations. They have taken crafty counsel against y'all, man. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. They did what? Consulted together with one consent. Watch Ishmael call Esau ass right up here to the prophets, man. Watch he do it. Right? And I'm going to ask the damn devil, do he believe in the Bible? You know what he going to tell me? Yeah. So how you going to tell me when we on God's land that I can't read the Bible on God's land? Then he going to say, hey, no, nah, no, nah, man. Hold on. No, nah, no, nah, you got to move. Right? Because they don't believe in God. Go ahead. God, this is Jeremiah 11 and 19. Uh -huh. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. He said that he was like a lamb or an ox brought into the slaughter. What do you do when you go to the slaughter? You be killed. Go ahead. God. And I knew not that they had de had devised devices against me. Uh -huh. They have devised devices against me, man. What are you using one de a device right there? Right? All nations always do it. What they calling Karen, Becky, what she do? She grabbed that device. Oh, look, the black man. Oh, look, the black woman. They call, they have device, devices against y'all. Go ahead. God, say, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. Uh -huh. And let us cut him off from the land of the living, uh -huh. that his name be no more remembered. So they don't want the uh, Yahweh's name to be any more remembered, man. Every time y'all start doing what the Most High tell y'all to do, these other nations, they have consulted with one consent, and they coming for your head. Right? Read down, brother. They are confederate against thee. Uh -huh. The tabernacles of Edom. Who? The, the tabernacles of Edom. Uh -huh. And the Ishmaelites. And who? The Ishmaelites. See, them damn Arabs in this store hate y'all guts, but y'all spend all y'all money with them. Right? I've been stopped spending my money with Arabs. Hey. Huh? Elon, Arabs, whoever they is, they, they still the devil that the Bible speak of. Right? Go ahead. Of Moab. Uh -huh. And the Hagarines. Uh -huh. Gabal uh -huh. and Ammon right. and Amalek, uh -huh. the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Right. Assyria also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. Salah. So it gave you all the way. It actually gave you a geological um, location. I mean, uh, 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 what, how can I say it? A geographical location from here to there. Because it went all the way to Ammon. You see what I'm saying? So it's not just them that it spoke of. It said all of them. All the nations have conspired against you, man. Be round the battles, that's right. Go ahead. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kassam, which perished at Endor. He said, do unto them which perish. What happened when you perish? You destroy them. So these nations will get destroyed by the Israelites, man. And um, ultimately by the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Go uh -huh. ahead, I God, this is Psalms chapter 2 and 1. Uh -huh. Why do the heathen rage? What's the Bible say? Why, Why do, do the, the heathen, heathen rage? rage? The heathen out here going nuts, man. They hate when the truth come out. They get the raging. What they call it, a rage fit. Right? Because he can't take control. He can't come over here with knowledge. Because we're just showing how he's just a disgusting, nasty, filthy animal. They hate our people. Right. We're just showing the truth. Go ahead. And the people imagine a vain thing. And the people imagine a vain thing. They really think this man helping them out. Right? They really think that. Go ahead. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against, together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. They took, they, they came against y'all, man. Right? They don't care. They coming against y'all. They going to come in your neighborhood. They going to set up damn stores, feed you all type of... Really, man, I promise you ain't nothing in this store probably good for us, man. Yep. That's a fact. Right. Even the water that come out the store ain't good for us. Right. That's a fact, man. Everything you probably think that's good for us really ain't good for us. That's why you got to keep the faith and endure to the end. Like the sister said, that might have pork in it, right? But it's ain't beef. 
But how much they taking crafty counsel against our people. So when we come back into the truth, how much would it take for them since they actually processing the, the, the candy or whatever it is for them to just put beef on there to keep y'all in sin? How much more? Right? Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? You do? You know who you are according to the Bible? Who are you? I'm asking, who are you, brother? I'm on the way somewhere. I'm in the room. All right. For people that believe in the Bible, right. Bro. Nobody got time for God no more in these last days. Nah. But hey, he got, they got time to put those masks on. They got time when the white man tell y'all to put those masks on, y'all quick to do it. Y'all just, just love masters so much. They love them, man. Everybody believe in the Bible, but they, don't got, they ain't got time for it. Right? Yeah, I love God, but do you give him your time? That's the same thing. If you love your wife, and you say, yeah, I love my wife, but you didn't give your wife no time, she'd be like, nah, he don't love me. Uh. And that's how the most I feel. You don't give him no time. He's like, man, them people don't love me, man. Right? You got a precept? Uh, no. I mean, I'm still this. What you got? Oh, so like it. God, verse 3. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So, hey, we're going to laugh at these people, man. We're going to break the bands off these people, right, asunder, right? We're going to separate from these people, man. they going to hate that, right? Because they have made strategic plans from generation to generation to get y'all where y'all at right now, to keep y'all at the battle, right? And when, and when y'all start spending money with them, they're going to be like, man, Man, hold on. Now you know what that you know what they do for them? Right? They think they economically sound, but you know who really economically sound? Y'all. Y'all the brokest people on the earth, but y'all fund every other nation. How the hell is that? We spend money, bro. That's how blessed we really is. We don't even I don't really care about money like that. Like it, it money just be popping up. You know? That's just the truth. That's the blessings of the most high. Just like, like, like it says in Matthews, the birds don't worry about what they're going to eat tomorrow. You shouldn't have to worry about when you're going to pay your bills. Right? Let me get that out of uh, Matthew, uh, uh, 1 Peter 5, think verse 7. Nah, I, I, yeah, you're going to grab that? Yeah. And then I want uh, 1 Peter 5 and verse 7, I think it is, or 6. Can I? Y'all gotta wake up, man. Uh, first Peter five, verse seven, six. Start at six. It's first Peter five, verse six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. You gotta humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. That's what the scriptures say. That's what we gonna do as Israelites, right? We gonna humble humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Right? Right? He's he's our master, man. Right? He he controls me. He tell me when to move. He tell me where to go. Right? He tell me what I want. Right? He's like the what you call that? The puppet master. Right? That's what the most high is. Go ahead. That he may exalt you in due time. See, the most high can exalt you in due time. He puts you in the positions that you're in. He take you down from those positions. Right? So you got to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Go ahead. Casting all your care upon him. Do what? Casting all your care upon him. Now, what about how you going to pay your bills? Casting all your care upon him. He said casting all your care upon him. Right? Go ahead. For he cares for you. Uh -huh. So he cares for us. So we're going to cast all our care upon him, man. Right? When you're feeling like you're down and out, don't worry about that. The most high got you, man. Right? Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. He going to pull you out of that situation, right? That's the truth for the Bible. That's it on that? Con, let me get um, Ecclesiastes 8, 8 and 8. Go ahead, Doc. Right, this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24. Uh -huh. I started 24. Uh -huh. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. So you can't be out here thinking you're going to the, serve these nations, man. Worship these nation, nations, right? You're going to believe what God said, or you're going to believe what man said? Point blank. Go ahead. God. It says, or else he will hold 
to the one and despise the other. He gonna what? He will hold to one and despise the other. So we gotta despise these other nations, man. We don't, we don't care what the other nations is talking about, right? We gonna take hold to the Most High. Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh. Go ahead. It says, you cannot serve God and Mammon. He said what? You cannot serve God and Mammon. You cannot serve God and Mammon, man, right? So you're gonna have to depart from one. I hope you make the right decision. Right, go ahead. God, therefore I say unto you, uh -huh. take no thought for your life, what you shall eat. He said, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, go ahead. Or what you shall drink. Don't even worry about what you gonna eat and what you gonna drink, go ahead. Nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Don't even worry about where you gonna get your clothes from. Right, because the most high clothed everything on the earth. Even the whole earth is suffocated grass and plants and animals. He clothed the earth. So what makes you think the precious, the most precious thing he created, right? That he wasn't gonna dress y'all. That he wasn't gonna feed y'all. Right? That he wasn't gonna give y'all shelter. Right? Go ahead. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Wait, are you not much better than they? Right? Here they come. Here come the devil that the Bible speak of. Right? I'll give them five minutes. Right? Go ahead. God, it says, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? You can't give one cubit into the stature, man. You can't make yourself taller when it comes against the most high, man. You're not going to get any bigger. Right? Go ahead. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, you said what? Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, right. shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. He said, he, how much more is he going to clothe you, O ye of little faith? Right? If he, if he clothed the whole earth, man, what make you think that he going to leave y'all out? But y'all don't, don't care. Right? Y'all don't really care, man. That's how much faith y'all got in the Most High. We, we y'all have to go to the other nations, right? Because that's part of our curses, right? So if you don't do that, and you cast your care upon the Most High, right, then guess what? You ain't got to go to them, right? Read what you got, out. This is Ecclesiastes 8, verse 8. There is no man that have power over the... 5, verse 5. Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. Uh -huh. So if you keep the commandments, you shall feel no evil thing, right? That's humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, right? That's coming back to the Most High. Right? That's not thinking on what you're going to eat or drink, because the Most High going to care for you. Right? Go ahead. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Because guess what? Oh, we understand that judgment is going to come on, the, on these other nations. It's a time. Right? You know what that is? Okay. Go ahead. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. So for every purpose there's time and judgment. All right? Judgment is going to come on America. All right? Do y'all understand what's going on in this world, sisters? Do y'all understand that the Bible said that these nations is literally about to come for us? You know why? Because we won't keep the commandments of God. So since you've got to keep these commandments, Are you keeping the commandments? Where you gonna start? Hey, it ain't no trying to it. All you gotta do is do it. It's like Nike, man. Just do it. Why people always gotta say? That's why, why you think I'm out here, sister? Why you think I'm out here? I'm out here to help you. And I can't help nobody that don't wanna hearken into the words of God. Only the ones that wanna hearken, those are the ones that we can help. All right. Where you at? Go ahead, huh? God, this is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. 
It says, for this is the love of God. What the Bible say? For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. No, try, brother. That we keep his commandments. No, brother, I try every day. That we keep his commandments. Man, you're a trying lie out here, man. Why y'all lie like that? Go ahead. And his commandments are not grievous. They not what? Grievous. They not grievous, man. I need another translation of that, matter of fact. Let me get another translation. You got your phone? All right. Yeah, that's another one? Okay, get that. How you doing, sis? You ain't got to stand around the corner. You can come over here and listen to the word of God. What you got? Con, Con, bring that out. Two? Con. This is First John 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. Oh, we try, brother. If we keep his commandments. So this is how we know we know him if we keep his commandments. When you're talking about you trying, that's not good enough for the most high. Right? That's not good. Right? If you, you got food on the stove and you cook it for your kids, and I say, why you ain't cooking? Get, get the kids the food. You say, well, I'm trying. That's not good enough. Give it to them. Right? Go ahead. He that said, if I know him, and keep if not his commandments, is a liar. She's a what? Is a liar. He's a what? Is a liar. They are what? A liar. You a damn liar if you say you keep the commandments, right? You're a liar. If you love God, you're going to keep the commandments. All right. That's what, that's what the Bible say. Y'all understand that, sis? Y'all know y'all gotta keep these commandments, right? You got a baby coming into the world. What you gonna do? You just gonna let him be in this wicked world? Hey, hey, this, this, it's not even funny what our people going through. And what's, what's the solution? Huh? Well, what's the solution though? Nah, the Bible tells the truth. Read that again. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. See, the truth is not in you, man. The truth is in the Bible. Right. You understand? The truth is in the Bible. Read what you got, huh? God, this is 1 John 5 and 3 uh -huh. in a, a New World Translation. It says, for this is what the love of God means, that we observe his commandments, and yet his commandments are not burdensome. The, the commandments are not burdensome, right? Like, what, what does the word burden mean? Right, meaning something that's hard, right? Too much, right? That's what burden mean, meaning it's too much. The commandments are not too much for you to do them, man. Right. All right? The commandments are not too much for you to do them. You just got to do it. All right, you got that out? Oh, okay, you read that. Uh, let me get um, let me get Ecclesiasticus 12, read 14. Yeah, Ecclesiasticus. No, Ecclesiastes. So like it. Oh, you good. Let me get Proverbs 13 to 13. You got a question? Go ahead, huh? God, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. We got to fear God, man. This is the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Right? When we examine everything and we look at it, what is it? This is where we come, come to um, understand. The conclusion of the whole matter is to what? Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man. Right? Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment. And every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Right? So every secret thing that you, that you do, man, is going to be brought into judgment. Right? The apocryphal? Go ahead, I, wait, let me see, is that it? Go ahead, that's what I want. It's Proverbs 13, verse 13. Uh -huh. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. See, if you fear the, fear the, it's like, read it again, suck it. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, uh -huh. but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So he that hearkeneth to the commandment shall be rewarded, plain and simple. 
all right? But you can't be out here despising the words of God, talking about, oh, I believe in the Bible. Then the brother say, come here, you, oh, I ain't got time, right? Do the most high got time for us, sis? So why do we not have time for him? Ain't that backwards? That's backwards. If you ain't got time for me, I ain't gonna have time for you, right? It's just, it's just, it's just plain as day, man. It's simple. It's logic, right? Go ahead. God, this is Sirach chapter two and fifteen. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His words. What the Bible say? They that fear the Lord will not disobey His words, uh -huh. and they that love Him will keep His ways. And they that love the Most High will keep His ways. Go ahead. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. What is well-pleasing unto him? When you keep his commandments, man. When you keep his laws. When you keep the ordinance. Okay? When you keep his sayings. Okay? That's the truth. Go ahead. God, it says, And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They shall be what? Filled with the law. See, they, and this is precept upon precept. They that love him shall be filled with the law. Uh, right? That's what the Bible says. Let me get that. I think it's one uh, Psalms 147. Uh, the law uh, 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 what did it say? It says, uh, yeah, yeah, it just, it's, it's Psalms 147 or 140. I think it's 147. Kind. Let me get, uh, you got it? No, that's not what I want. Uh, 146 then. Where it talks about, hold on. It's right. It says uh, the law is spiritual. Oh, I think it's right there. Um, no, that's not it. No, no, no. It's in the one forty six or one forty seven. It's up. It's up at one forty something. But yeah, you could give me um, Psalms one nineteen one hundred. It should be right there, though. You got it? Go ahead. This is Psalms 119 and 100. I understand more than the ancient because I keep thy precepts. Come here, brother. Come here, brothers. Where y'all going? How let your brothers, man? Where y'all going? Y'all on a mission? We got time to hear. Hey, hey, all praises. Get that brother a hand, man. We were just talking about that, man. Yeah, we got time. Hey, the most I got time for you? Yeah. Shouldn't you have time for him? Yeah. If it ain't but five minutes, right? Yeah. That's fair. Why are people so quick when we ask them, do they got time for the most high and they believe the most high? They on a mission. Oh, I got to go do something. You understand? But then you're going to get put to death doing what you're doing and then you know what you're going to call on? God. Right after that. But then five minutes before, the brother was just trying to show you about God. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's what's going on. So y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible. My name is David, and that was some type of king, like King is King David. And my last name is Little John, and I think John had something to do with David, too. My name is David Little John. Right, right. What about you, brother? So what is your nationality when it comes to the Bible? Right. But I ain't quite, I ain't quite study it like that, because I come from three families of twelve with three different religious backgrounds. Yeah, all of us did, brother. No, my mom's eleven out of thirteen. My dad's the third out of thirteen, and my stepdad that raised me. He's a baby out of twelve before. Yeah. You know, no, Muslim, yeah. Taoist, and Christian. Yeah, and Jehovah's Witness, yeah, yeah, uh, Pentecostal, yeah, Baptist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand. You're not the, you're not alone in this, brother. That's what my three families was: Taoist or Taoist like Chinese. Yeah. Right. Uh, Arabic, Muslim, and then my mom's brother and the Christian family. Right. So I was trying to play the outskirts thing. Right, right. We understand that. You're not alone in this. Like, yeah. my, I got I got 13 uncles and aunties, man. Oh, yeah. So it, you're not the only one, man. No, 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 no. We all related. We all Israelites. No, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I'm messing with you, brother. All right, give me, uh, let me show you something real quick. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That was late. Uh, let me get that Deuteronomy real quick. Right? Deuteronomy 7 real quick. Okay. Hey, so so what you gotta do, man? You saying you ain't studied? What you gonna wait? You you waiting? Well, you know, right now, right now I'm trying to focus 
Music, focus on music. You need to focus on self first, brother. Love thyself, man. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> brother, working on music, man. Hey, that's that's something we gonna do regardless, right? I don't believe in religion. I say spiritual. I I, I understand I'm a, that. I'm a spiritual person. Right, I'm, I am a spiritual person. Yeah, spiritual right, being, read that. Spiritual being. All right, go ahead. God, this is Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not commit whoredom, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou so do y'all do y'all think everybody on the earth is equal? No, I don't. I do. You do? Okay. Okay. Right, right, okay, okay, so hold on, let me show you something real quick. Right, let me ask you something, you believe in the Bible, right? So, how, uh, you believe in, you know about Adam and Eve, right? Where Adam come from? The dirt, right? Where the woman play a part in that? Where the woman play a part in that in his, in his existence, coming on earth? So now you say you say you 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 going into spirituality when it says that the woman is God because we come from a woman, but Adam didn't come from a woman. We all come from Adam because of the Most High God. Just like you, you was created. How was you created? Hey, brother. Brother. Hey, listen. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Let's oh, I see a lot of listen. Right listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Hold on. Hold on, brother. So, hey, let me get back to the point, Kevin and Dev, uh, uh, David. So, the point was, do you agree that Adam came from the um, dust of the ground? Hey. No, no, that's not. Hey, watch this. <laughs> you a smart brother. <laughs> you a smart. So, listen. Listen, let me show you something real quick, brother. Let me give me give me um Joshua one and eight, man. This scripture is gonna be one of my favorite scriptures of all time. I'm not even joking. Your headphones, brother. Get you. All right. All right. Go ahead. I'm just judging. Yeah. James chapter one verse eight. So us being Israelites, right? Oh, so hold on. The point was saying, uh, are we all equal, right? And and you said that we are all equal in your eyes, right? Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, now hold that scripture real quick. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And I'm going to show you what the Bible says, right? All right. Let me get uh, Psalms 40 and 15. Okay. Okay, I believe people should get off all drugs. <laughs> hold on. Hey, that's, hold on. I, I agree. It's the same thing. It ain't nothing. It's all conjured up. It's all sorcery. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing, brother. That's, did you, you know what I said? I said all drugs. All drugs, brother. Right? Even that loud pack that brothers is smoking. All right? We did, huh? Now, you believe in the Bible, right, David? I mean, David? Watch this. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God said that y'all are supposed to be a special people unto himself, right? Watch this. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Not everybody equal, man. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Bible says that you are above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. I disagree with that. But you disagree with the Bible. Hold on. King James has sex with his mama in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What scripture is that? No, it's not, brother. King James is not in the Bible. Brother, King James is not in the Bible. 
King James was a king, Why right? He had a sex with Hold on. What was his name, brother? What was his name? What was his name? Because King James was from the Jacob dynasty. He was an Israelite. Yeah. All right. So hold on. So watch this. King James did not uh, have sex with his mama in the Bible. Honey, King, because he's a king, brother. Yeah. What I ask you to get? 40 and 15? Is that what I want? No, 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 no. I want Isaiah 40 and 15. So lucky. Like Man, they were sipping wine, they were sipping wine and turning one piece of bread into ten. Let me get one piece of bread. I can't feed all of us over. Yeah, cause you you know why? You know why? Listen. Listen, brother. Listen, brother. You know why why y'all don't think that? Because brothers is on these drugs out here. Bro, if I get a piece of bread right now, and I say we all gonna eat this for a week, we're gonna be out here starving. Hey, watch this, brother. Can, hey, hey, watch this, brother. Can a white man stand in the sun long as you? Can do a white man get sunburned? Did you get sunburned? Not really. So you, that ain't equal. That's not equality, brother. It's no equal. It's no equality. But 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 you can rebuttal all you want to. And now guess what? Nature don't agree with you, brother. Okay, so that shows that they are not equal to you. Go ahead. Do you believe that this coronavirus gonna be what take us out? Do you believe there's gonna be something stronger? It's definitely gonna be something stronger to take you out. No, I don't believe that. Not at all. No, brother. You're dealing with astrology, brother, and the cosmos, and that's madness. Where? They been, you know how long they've been saying that? You remember, you remember uh, the uh, comic uh, Ison? But I promise you, brother, like, listen, do you read the Bible? Do you read the Bible? <laughs> bro, you out of your mind. Bro, bro, bro. Hey, bro, you guess what, brother? Hey, remember what you said, brother? Hey, hey, remember what you said. Hey, David, remember? No, no, hold on. But let's, you, you know what you just said, brother? You said you weren't going to disagree with us because you didn't want to walk down the street and get shot. You know what you just did? You would have you guessed what you actually uh, believe in. Right? Let me get, uh, let me get, hold on. I want uh, Colossians, uh, First uh, Chronicles 13, no, First Chronicles 36 and 16. I don't believe in no damn dinosaurs, brother. I don't believe in no damn dinosaurs. Hey, guess what? Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. You got a scripture? Hey, hold that real quick. Give me um, Pro uh, Proverbs 3 and 30. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Watch out, brother. I got y'all. Hold on. Slow down with the questions. Slow down with hold on. I'm about to show y'all real quick. Damn dinosaurs. The damn pterodactyl, T Rex, Brontosaurus, uh, Brontosaurus, right? All of them. Right? That's true. Go ahead. 30 and 3. Uh, 30 31. Oh, 30 and 30. That's it right there. Right there. 3 and 30. Oh. This is Proverbs 3, verse 30. Strive not with a man without cause, uh -huh. if he have done thee no harm. So don't strive with a man for no cause. Watch this. Envy thou not the oppressor. Nah, believe in what they said about the Big Bang and the damn dinosaurs, right? Envy thou not the oppressor. Nah, trust what the white man said when he the one that took your whole family of 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, all y'all in the captivity. Believe in them now. They're going to tell y'all the truth. They love y'all. They put the articles out there. They love you, brother. Go ahead. And choose none of his way. And what? And choose none of his way. Well, the Bible told us, envy not thy oppressor and choose none of his ways. And then if I ask you, brother, prove prove, prove, in, um, out, of, prove out of space. You can't do it. You're going off an understanding of some damn heathen man that love you not, right? And then you think he do. Uh, I'm, not going off that. I'm going off something that I actually went through and, and first went through to see that sign at a gamma ray burst. Earth. Gamma ray burst. Gamma ray. Where did it come from? The sun? Gamma, it, got, it got way more power than the sun. So where'd it come from? It got way more power than the sun. But it, like, it's like the sun times 10 billion. It came from the nebula, right? It came, it came from the nebula, which they say that's just, hold on, brother. It came from the nebula, which they said is like 30 million light years away. It's coming. How, when? It's coming. When? How the hell do you measure 30 million light years away? <laughs> How do you measure it? What, what damn tape measure they got? 2022, bro. 2022. So we got two more years. Two, two Go years. ahead. Two, this is Psalms 58, verse 3. Uh -huh. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Hey, they go astray as soon as they be born. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Right? Go ahead. Speaking lies. They do what? 
Speaking live. Man, brother, you can't prove that to me. But you can't prove what you're saying. I, 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 hey, if you stay here long enough. Hey. All right, so watch this. Okay. Ten. I promise you we can prove it. I, I can prove it with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If, right. You love drugs, man. See? Hey, watch this. Hey, and that's the problem, man. You despise the words of God, brother. It's sad, man. Hey, man, look. Hey, don't walk into the... You, you got to stay straight in a straight line, man. Drugs going to be killing our people out here, man. God, this is Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. See, man, this is madness, man. Everybody believe in what the white man said, but they don't want to believe in God. That is, that just, man. Go ahead, man. This is Isaiah 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. He would have said, nope, I don't believe in that. I, don't, I, 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 I believe in the Bible, but I don't believe in that. Ain't that what that brother said? That brother said that we are equal to all the rest of the nations. I don't think I ever felt in my life that I was equal to any other nation. You know, I be feeling like even even my own nation, they ain't even equal to me. I'm an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? You got you got two thirds that are gonna be destroyed. Am I equal to them? Hell no. I dare I wouldn't dare make myself and, and, and put myself in that type of position, man. Right? Go ahead. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10, verse 2. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Nah, brother, you got to understand that they telling us the truth. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So that would have been, been a smooth cut. But he wouldn't have believed that, though. He wouldn't have believed that. He believed in the articles that he read, right? Oh, praises. Got that brother with them fringes on. Uh -huh. Get that brother a hand, y'all. Uh -huh. Get a young king a hand. That's right. We got another chair. Hey, um, we got a chair right here. Right? Learn not the ways of the heathen, man. And that's what the Bible is going into. Our people love the heathen. They love the heathen more than the most high. But we didn't grab the Joshua 1 and... Oh, yeah, read that. God, this is Second Chronicles 36. I'm going to start at 15. Now. And 15. It says, And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them them by his messengers rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people so he sent messengers messengers because he had compassion on the people of israel you understand so that's why we out here because the most high does have compassion on y'all right go ahead god it says on his dwellings but they mocked the messengers of God. But they what? But they mocked, mocked the, the messengers, messengers of God. God. Just like this dude that was off the drugs just now. He told about how he was going to understand and he was going to agree with everything. Then he turned around and said, no, I don't agree with you. I agree with the Bible. But, you know, hey, they just turned around and they started mocking the messengers, man. Right? Go ahead. God. And despised his words. They did what? And despised, despised his, his words. words. That's what Proverbs 13 and 13 said, man. They was going to despise his word. Right? Go ahead. And misused his prophets. Until the wrath of God, the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. So they misused the prophets, man. Right? And it, it's like, it, it's like, why do y'all understand that y'all can just go against the Bible, but we read not the Bible? How'd that work? What do you believe in? Because a lot of y'all, it's obvious that you don't even believe in yourself. Right? Go ahead. This is 2 Timothy 4, verse 3. Uh -huh. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. When they what? They will not endure sound doctrine. Man, a time will come that they will not endure sound doctrine. Right? And what time is that? That's us right now. Right? That's the days that we're living in. Right? Go ahead. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers. And what that brother say, y'all? Oh, I'm, I'm going to do my music, right? I'm going to worry about my music, right? So, hey, <laughs> go ahead, I. Having itching ears. They have what? Having itching ears. They got itchy ears, right? 
Hey, brother, what about the Cosmo, cosmos? What about the gamma ray bursts? Right? What about the black hole? Right? What about what about uh, Pluto? Right? Right? What about plutonium? <laughs> right? Right? What about Bill Nye the Science Guy? He's the greatest scientist in the world. Right? What the fuck, man? Bill Nye the Science Guy ain't a goddamn scientist. Get the hell out of here. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They shall what? Turn away their ears from the truth. Right, man. That's crazy. I've never seen a, a, a scientist have a TV show. Right? <laughs> what the hell? You, you out of your mind if you believe in that, man. Right? You believe in a lie. That's what you believe. Right? Remember that damn rat they had on Bill Nye the Science Guy? You believe that was really a rat? You do. Big ass white Edomite and a goddamn rat. Yeah, neutral rat. Right. That's, a, yeah, that's what I want to Hold on. And shall be turned unto fables. They shall what? Be turned unto fables. Brothers reading all type of fables out here in the world thinking it's true. Thinking it's factual. Right? What's up, brother? Come on, let us real quick. Come show your love to your family, brother. Hey, man, hey, hey come on. I ain't seen you in a minute, brother. Hey, hey, come here, bro. Come here. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. That's not love, though. That's not love, brother. Come on, man. Read that, huh? But watch, watch thou in all things. Uh -huh. Endure afflictions. And what? Endure affliction. We're going to endure affliction, man. Right? Go ahead. What's up, brother? Come here. Come talk to us, brother. Do the work of an evangelist. Uh -huh. Make full proof of thy ministry. So it says do the work of an evangelist, right? Going out and bringing, that, bringing forth that gospel. Bringing forth the word of God, right? Bringing forth the ministry. What's up, man? Please, bees and fire. What is that, a bee? So that's what we out here to do, man. Be evangelist, man. To give y'all that understanding, right? The true word of God. You got more on that? Okay. What you got, all right? Kind, 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 bring that up. Kind, this is Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord, God, is upon me uh -huh. because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh -huh. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the plantings of the Lord, and he might be glorified. So we, we, we hopefully that we're going to be called the trees of righteousness, man. Right. You understand? There was a precept that you read earlier about the trees. Uh, that, would, that would have been a nice precept to bring out. Um... But kind, so we, we are to be those trees. It was talking about trees bringing forth fruit, right? You know what I'm talking about? So kind, kind. So, hey, man, we out here to bring forth that, that, that gospel, man, to bring it to our people, man, to bind up the brokenhearted, right? To preach deliverance to the captive. That's what we got here for, man, right? And if you got a problem with what we're doing, man, you just go take that up with the most high, right? Because we're going to be out here week after week with the microphone bringing out this truth, man. That's what we're going to be doing, right? Psalms, okay. That's what we're going to do, man. And if, 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 you, if you think you're just going to run us off, we're going to go somewhere else. That's all we're going to do. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep bringing out this Bible through the, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Ain't no stopping it, man. Week after week, in and out, right? Like a robbery, like a robbery man. We're going to be in and out. Go ahead. You got that? Go ahead, huh? This is Psalms 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the ways of sinners, right. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So that's what we was talking about earlier. We're not even supposed to be sitting with sinners, man. Right? We're not supposed to. Did y'all know that? Yeah, we're not supposed to sit with sinners, man. We spoke, our job is to 